Say what? I don't even know what this says about me, but pretty much Rando Wednesday is a Kickstarter for my weekend. <laughs> because I work I work a Monday, Monday through Friday job, but I work a half day Friday. So pretty much Thursday is like you got to get over Thursday and then you're golden for the weekend. So you know what leads up to Thursday? Wednesday night. You know what Wednesday night is? Rando Wednesday, where we're utilizing that random deck option. And like I said, man, I feel like this is a kickstart to the weekend. Drinking a little Cures Light. I mean, of course, you can't get drunk like you would on a weekend night because... Turns out you have to work uh, to play, and that's what we're doing right now, reaping the benefits. Let's get in there. Holy shit, is this a Mirage? Is this a bro? Gotta get in there, holy shit. I don't even know what, I forgot I was even playing this game. Oh my god, this looks crazy fun, I'm gonna keep it. Uh, yeah, I was just hanging out listening to music. Uh, my mic is kind of so fucking awesome, and my headphones are kind of awesome. And they also, like, I can't hear shit when I'm wearing them because of the noise cancellation that I just sometimes, when I'm hanging out in lobbies, just listen to music by putting my phone up to, it's not... I mean, granted, it's not the most high-quality way to listen to music, but I put my phone right up to the mic, and I just jam it out like that, man. Having a good time. Let's see. By the way, we're playing a game. It's called Duels of Planeswalkers 2014. And we're playing against a deck also known as... Well, it's not also. I didn't say one, but it's known as Champ of the Moldaya. It's got some bombs, got some Eldrazi's. Listen, I know you're not accustomed to this game. It just came out. Duels 2014 did. Man, I'm ready for Duels 2015. Holy shit. At least give me, like, just give me a little morsel. Just tell me Obedient Dead's coming back. What? No, what? What? No, no. Crosswinds was sick, nasty dope. I mean, just have, like, make Duels 2015. Oh, my God. I just had the best fucking idea. Make a Duels 2015 just reunion decks. It's going to be the reunion game. You could bring back the green-blue deck. What? With Kiora? That would be sick. What? You know, Pacifism's are really good. There's an Exploration Nation coming in late game so if he's running 30 land chain he got a late start to it because he's pretty much got primeval titan coming in hot turn four anyway um uh, i think i'm probably just gonna go ai and go core spirit dancer and then pacify the prime time oh i don't draw cards off this yeah yeah i do what the fuck yeah okay <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Didn't happen. Y'all did not hear that. And I'm going to pass a Fleezy the shit out of Grazing Gladeheart just to rip the cards if I don't draw Hot Fire. Hot Fire would be Armored Ascension. Boom. Oh my god, that's almost just as good. Holy nuts. What a rip. Sam05, my dude. I graduated high school in 2005 from a little, a little town in Texas called Troop. I mean, my dudes. Yes, I'd love to draw two cards. My, oh my god, 2005, I didn't say 1975, and get this, my dudes, my, uh, my graduation song was Freebird, I was like, no, we did, we went for something a little more alternative, you know, in high school, I was like, no, exis existentialism on prom night, and I was like, yeah, throw that in the mix, they're like, uh, no, we're gonna put in Freebird, so, I mean, it's up to a vote, we're gonna see who wins, uh, overwhelming landslide, I was throwing my cap up to, and I'm free as a bird, yeah. uh, it could be, it's not always dust, so it could be, I'm not going AI, but I will do this, because it could be Tangle, right, so I'm ripping two cards, yes, and uh, he's land screwed. He's not going to be winning this game, I don't think. Unless he has, like, a couple tangles and he's drawing lands and he get, eventually gets to an all his dust. But even then, like, I've got the tits. I'm getting in there with this. Tangle! I remember to play around it. Yay! Usually when I tell stories, I play like a fool. I mean, like a complete fool. But looks like we're going to be okay. Only because we, we, we only had one card to play around, right? And we successfully did it. This guy's land screwed. Uh-oh. He's got prime time. From Fierce Empath, but I will not... Let's see, what will I not be doing? Holy shit, my phone's popping off. <sighs> We're going to be getting in there. And I won't be committing any more to the board at all. And I'm free as a bird. <laughs> 
I was like, whatever, just get just get me the fuck out of this place, man. I gotta go get a college education, education. And then I went into calculus one. Uh I was a smart I was a smart man. I was a smart man. I didn't go immediately into calculus, and here's why. Because my degree plan called for it immediately into calculus, but I didn't know how to do derivatives when I left calculus AP. After high school, I was in calculus AP, and I did not know what a derivative was. If you, anybody, sound off in the comments. If you know anything about calculus, I'm going for the win. If you know anything about calculus, another tank I'm gonna laugh. Tell me how ridiculous that is. I had to go to, I had to go, not college algebra. Yeah, I had to go to college algebra. Just, just fucking nailed that. I could do that since like the eighth grade. So I just nailed that, and I had to go into calculus my second uh, semester. It was ridiculous. How, like once once again, I don't know how I'm college educated. I, it's it was a fucking miracle. I have no idea. What do we, what do we want here? I forgot. Like this is like half the fun. Here's a deck that we haven't played in like anywhere from a month to a year. Like I haven't played. I got Steel Shaper. Holy shit! I got Steel Shaper, which means I have Jatiti, which means we're gonna be keeping this. Keep this. Hey, new subscribers. I I say Jatiti. Like I get it. It's like Jate. GTA, something like that, man. I know that, but Jatiti is so much more damn fun to play. And even if you are still around, I mean, if you're even if you are like an old sub, uh, that <laughs> some people don't even like that I say that when they know that I'm just kidding. So uh, apologize. I will not uh, feel bad for it, but I will apologize if you don't like it. You know, if I annoy you, that of course I don't. I would never want that to happen. You're my dudes, my dude. And I said it last time. Somebody just like jumped all over the guy's dick. Well, that was a weird analogy, but they're like, hey, bro. Get the fuck off head case, man. Uh, if he wants to say titty, let him do it. And thank you. Thank you for having my back. I, I like having people that like me enough to take up for me. That's always nice. Uh, but also, you know, friends are allowed to tell you, hey, man, you're really fucking annoying. Like, God, I cannot fucking stand it when you say titty, dude. I want to murder you. And fair enough. He has a right, and I would want my friends to tell me that. So, of course, I want myself to tell me that, too, because you are my dudes. And uh, if we go too far, where we hate each other too much, you know, eventually, yeah, maybe we might just have to part ways, you know? But I would never say that uh, about any of the subs that I have so far. We need, once again, we're like story time, just straight story time. We need to be thinking. A. Jolson male. A.J. Olson. What the fuck ever, dude? Uh, I'm going to call him A.J. This guy is playing a tier one deck. And we're playing... Oh my god, Swords is, Swords is down there. Oh man, I kind of want to make a little tier list. I kind of like tier lists. I don't know... I don't know why people are so like, tier list, oh, just gag. I don't know why they do that. I have Bushido. That's probably worth blocking. I like how I just don't give a fuck about anything that's going on. I probably will have to trade... Excuse me, Path to Exile with Champion of the Parish. Which is unfortunate. But we are getting down... Okay, so I think the play is going to be uh, Devoted Retainer plus Jate. I forgot what the hell Fumiko, the low blood, does. Where X the number of attacking creatures. Does not have haste. This, this card seems like it would have haste. Creatures your opponent uh, attack each turn of people. That seems pretty good right now. Uh, Stone Hewer. I do have Pro Red, Pro White, which is probably going to be the play. So I think we're going to take some damage and go ahead and do... Yeah, Devoted Retainer. Umazawa's Jatiti. Gotta get in there. How do we lose this game? We don't. I don't think so, right? He can't counter it. He can kill, like, several of my bros, and I will never be able to get in with Umazawa's Jate. So, I mean, yeah. It's not It's not over. I mean, people are like, fuck. This broke the format. It didn't break the format, guys. <laughs> didn't break the format. Uh, it broke the format every other format that it was in, but not this one. I mean, this deck needed some love, and this is the proper love that I thought this deck needed. I'm gonna... I don't really know what this guy's doing with that guy. I'm gonna block, though. I guess maybe... I... Mm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That happened, though. So we're gonna get in there with Jate. Probably dies, but we're gonna... We're gonna, do, we're gonna go for it. Equip up this thing. Sure. And I think it's about high time to do what? Do we even path to exile? I think we might just path this. I said that. No, we can just kill that with Jatiti if it gets in. Which it will. Right? So we do that and we probably... What the hell, my dude? That's incredible. 
Boom. Got in with Jatiti. Oh my god, this sec. That is sex. Uh, beautiful. Yo, pass her back. I got two counters on Jite, so we're gonna... Hmm. We're gonna see what this guy's got up his sleeve. Hello, Burial? Like, what are you doing? I don't... I don't know. The, the classic Hello, Burial, you only play around... You only don't play around it when he's got it. Uh, that's my case. I always say it's gotta be Hello, Burial. Oh, that's speaking of, man. I want to run Hello, Burial because I want to run Absence Glory just as, like, a different kind of... What really cool thing can we do? Just as a, like a switch up. It'd be like a new deck because I don't, really don't want to play Absence Glory, but I would like to play... Uh, wait, we can do something really fucking cool here. Because I... Pa oh, what? Can I do this? Path. That. It's a three. Well, yeah, I think we're on a path anyway. We can kill this. What was I talking about? I was going to finish that. Oh, yeah. I want a new deck. And I think the new deck would be uh, checking out Avis's Glory running only angels. And that deck would run Hello Burial. That's a way to finish your thought literal literal minutes after uh, you set it. So I could just kill. I could swing in, kill both these dudes before it can block. And that's the way I, I get in. I need to do damage, right? Jesus. It's been this long. Uh, it deals combat damage. So <laughs> Stupid. So dumb. Let's see, what would be the coolest? I guess it doesn't matter. We should just probably just, uh... Just drop. We should probably just swing in first. I'm losing it. I'm absolutely losing it. I want to get, like, the most value out of this. I'm trying to think how, because he's gonna block. I'm gonna do damage, but, like, I'm just... That's... Yeah, I mean, he's kind of screwed at this point, right? There's no good blocks. I have four. Yeah, I can just... Yeah, it's not good. Fortunate for him, but yeah, Umazawa's Jatiti is just going to take us to the promised land. I don't really see us losing this at all. I do have Fumiko, and I can kill both of his things here, so this thing is a 1-1, one, one, and then block it with Fumiko and kill it, just from Umazawa's Jate. And then if he, like, does anything, I can just buff this or just, like, kill this and all, all, all kinds of shit. That thing dies also, right? So... Okay. Freeze. So we remove a counter, kill that. Remove a counter, kill that. Um, and this thing's gonna be a two-two. So we remove a counter and kill this. And then we block with this, and that's gorgeous, gorgeous. Now we can... How many counters? One encounter? So he's going to have to block, and then I... He doesn't have to block, but I can just kill it. That thing doesn't have... Hexproof anymore. So, Zealous Conscripts, we can steal it. Holy shit, we can steal it. I got one counter. We can't win, though. Zealous Conscripts is nuts. That card's so good. We can uh, just bash in, lay stone, hewer giant. We can eventually get that pro white that we've been talking about the whole game. So we're going to swing, swing every time I come around just city. He's going to take it. Okay. So we stone hewer and then we just kill this thing whenever we want. He doesn't have any buffs. He's down to 14. How about let's win, like, soon? I could just not kill it and take the damn thing. Like, kill all this. That seems funnier. Because I would have buffs for all my bros. That's a fiend hunter. There goes that. I could kill that. Mentor of the Meek. Okay, so let's win next turn. How can we do that? I can buff this. Yeah, I think we're gonna go this route. I could have killed, obviously I could have killed this in response. Don't really feel like doing that though. Uh, sure. And I'm going to... There's Light and Helix. I'm gonna Zealous Conscripts. Take his bro. So it has three. So, Zealous Conscript. I'm trying to find the funnest way to win because Jatiti just broke this game. So, I think. Okay, we can't take this because that is Hexproof. We can take... Damn it, I should've just killed that so I can get in. We can take... 
this. Get in with what? Get in with this, this, and this, and this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What the? F Stop. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So that's the win. He's tapped out. Okay, fine. I want to do it so much cooler, man, but the card's too good. What do you want me to do? Just go for it now, I guess. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus two. I thought it was any creature. That would be even more broken. I was wondering, what, like, why am I not choosing this? But, sure. <laughs> Alright, so that's gonna do it. Enter the Dracomancer. Enter the Dracomancer. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. What the hell is this? Lords of Darkness and Infernal Tutor. Tutor. <laughs> Infernal Tutor. I don't know what's in this deck. I don't know what I run multiples of. One Reaper? I think, man, I... Fuck, I don't I'm going to keep this, see where the hell it goes. Sand's not even really that good. Reveal a card. I think there's only one of these. I know there's more than one promise of power. Let's see. Can it be a land? Yeah. Cool. I don't need it, but okay. Is there more than one Reaper from the Abyss? I think there's two, but I, I remember distinctly for some, for some reason, like months ago... Um, thinking the same thing, and I think I did Revealed Reaper, and there was not a Reaper of the Abyss. I could just hang out, and if I have no cards in hand, go get where the hell I want. Go get Runescar Demon. This deck does run Runescar, doesn't it? Actually, no, it doesn't. I don't even know what the hell's in this deck, which is not good. You need to know the format. You need to know the ins and outs of everything, because it's going to be some random game when somebody's going to cast Commandeer on your bitch ass. I'm just saying, nothing specific, not naming any names, head case, but somebody's going to nail you with commandeer and you're gonna be like what the fuck is going on that gets innocent blood all day every day i kind of like the yeah i mean this has to die now infernal tutor for another innocent blood would be sick against this deck but i don't think i have another one is that true god damn it i need to take infernal tutor out for this reason either that or go into my deck manager and figure out what the hell is going on innocent blood when did that come out i don't know when it did but that card's stupid good for a mono black control deck exactly what I want to be doing. Oh my gosh, it's just free. It's one 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 uh sorcerer speed removal. Drawing all these lands without without a uh what the hell? Heartless summoning is okay. Like I I don't I, I need these lands if I'm not drawing Heartless Summoning, so I'm okay with it. That's what I meant by that. Not the best way I could have went about it. This guy's a master of the planes. I don't know how to get the traveler. I need to Google it. Like, it's funny how, like, some, some of my subscribers, well, they used to. This game's been out so long, probably not anymore. But they used to come to me for, like, information and stuff. Like, hey, hey, case, what's up with the new deck pack? Check it out. Maybe I want to buy it. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm, looked, I'm looked to sometimes for information. But I need to Google uh, Promise of Power and draw all these cards. Yeah, okay. I need bombs. I don't need these lands. What do I need to Google? I need to Google something. That's what I'm saying. I'm not just a wealth of knowledge. Sometimes I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Like right now, I'm discarding three lands. I like everything else. They say creature. Halo Hunter. Destroy target angel. Oh my god. I've, I've never used Halo Hunter's ability in real life or uh, fake life, which is known as Duels of the Planeswalkers. Reaper from the Abyss seems okay. All he has is pacifism. There's Heartless Summoning. Don't really think I give a shit about that anymore. Let's see... Reaper from the BS, a bit BS flies. Let's just get that the hell down there. Sure. It doesn't matter. It's like almost literally just as good as Halo Hunter at this point, but it doesn't have an ETB effect. He could cast an angel. Let's see. Oh my God. Angelic Destiny. That would be sick. If he puts an Angelic Destiny on a creature, I can Halo Hunt it up and just snipe that bitch out of the air. That would be incredible. Please do that. Totem Guide Heart Beast. Heart to Beast. Is that like Will the Beast? Like Heart to Beast, maybe. Maybe not. Okay. I just realized this guy's running a stack of cards, too. Pariah. All damage from Delta use, Delta Enchanted Creature. Sure. And then he swizzles it. He swizzles the Dizzle. Okay? <laughs> so dumb. I'm not laying Heartless Summoning. 
Could Harvester of Souls? Seems okay. That seems okay. Let's see. But he's going to Pariah, whatever I lay down right here. So it's going to be Halo Hunter. And then, like, I can't fucking use I Infernal Tutor because I'm Infernal. I don't know what's in my deck. I think there's only one Harvester of Souls. Oh, shit. Whenever another non-token creature, that means not him, right? Whenever another. It has Death Touch, though. Has turned back. He got Pariah. Like, don't. Why can't you get Angelic Destiny? Damn it. Pass turn back. I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, this gets Pariahed. Maybe he Pariahs the nothing. Maybe he does Pariah the nothing. Let's see. Beginning of the intro, creature dies, turn, destroy target, non -gre oh, What? There it is. That's not an angel, though. It's a 9 12, though. Sarah's Boon. What the fuck? Minus, minus two, minus one. That's 4 2. Let's see. Are we about to lose a matchup that we usually win? When I say usually win, I pretty much mean like every damn time. Top deck. And we drew the cards. We did just draw the nuts, didn't we? <laughs> Reaver Demon. Seems okay. Non-artifact, non non-black creature. So he's got, that's okay. But that has to happen. We're gonna get in. And then we, do we have another Reaver? So I don't even know. That's why I can't run this. I'm taking it out of my deck. I am. Until I can memorize what I what I run with Wards of Darkness. That's another deck I don't play a lot. Let's go Reaver because we have to. Kill everything but my stuff. But my stuff's like all fucked up. Like it's, it's either pacified or booned. As long as it's white. Other, otherwise it gets minus two, minus one. That's a little bit racist. That, I mean, that's obvious. And then pacifism on what? The 4-2? Wouldn't have done that because I can't... I would just swing in and it couldn't kill Reaver Demon anyway. There's a bunch of enchantments on the battlefield. Thankfully, they're on my side of the board, which I, I don't care where those are. Harvester of Souls is going to come in fuego. Are we running a third Halo Hunter? Because I would Infernal Tutor for that. But I think, I think eventually we will just... Heartless Summon. I know we're running multiples of this, so we could get that, but that's just dumb. I'm not going to do that. I would like to play this, probably, just so I can empty my hand so I can Infernal Tutor, getting, like, something. I don't even know what's in this deck, apparently. We're going to pass turn back. Oh, wait. Whoa. Pariah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, I get to draw cards. That's good. So, he goes down to... Shit. We're, <laughs> we're fucking losing it. Once again, we get to that point in the video where we just like hit a wall where it's like all of a sudden we just tune out Start like kicking it figuring out what the hell we're gonna do later in the night. That's not the play Infernal Tutor, Infernal Tutor is probably a dead card, but it is Infer like okay Maybe I could like go see if I have a third Halo Hunter with Infernal Tutor and if I don't okay It's a dead card anyway. I'm not gonna be casting it unless I have to so that makes sense Alrighty then. We're gonna be getting in there. It's weird. This guy's at land drop eight and he's got nothing. I guess he's already done. He had his big finale. Drew about as many lands as I did. There is Exile All Creatures and he's running that many cards, so he probably is running it. But we're gonna threaten lethal next turn, which is what this does. He's gonna have to do something about something. And then next turn. Yeah, I can't lay Heartless Summoning because we're not threatening lethal, I guess. Yeah, Infernal Tutor is putting me in a weird spot. A third Halo Hunter? I don't know. I think there's only two. I think there's only one of this. Looks like that's going to be good enough. Reaper from the Abyss? Okay, well, let's just go ahead and do it. Let's Infernal Tutor. Reveal Heartless. Let's go see if we have another Reaper from the Abyss. Oh, wait. No, let's do this. Confirm. Oh, fuck, I don't get to see my whole deck because I have that turned off. Shit. Well, anyway, <laughs> there's no insta-speed anything. We're good. We're getting in there. And we finally took it down. Weird build of this. He had a totem guide. Went and got Pariah. Weird. Weird targets for weird things, but we got in there and we did work. And it was random. You never see that deck. That's going to wrap up the Wednesday. Guys, enjoy the rest of your week. Do good in school, work, and life. Love you, homies. Later. Wow, what? I don't play this deck a whole lot. Harvester of Souls, you were... That is the shittiest little animation. It's like rushed. He's like, quit looking at my dick. Look at me. And he just like zooms out and he's like, oh yeah, I'm going to quit moving now. Uh, yeah, how about that Duels 2015 though? Who's excited about that? Raise your hand. I'm literally the only person in America raising their hand for two reasons. One, um, I'm saying this 
in a YouTube video. This is not live, so nobody knows I asked the question. 